Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the So Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning April 18th, 2022. If you have not yet joined Patreon, it's just a dollar a month to get extra readings, extra content, follow the link in the description box to sign up for that. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, just go to angelsouls444.com. We can do an angelic reading or an Akashic Records reading. And of course, a very special thank you to everybody who has joined me on the Bright platform for the lives. I will keep you posted on future projects. Yes. All right. I already had, yeah, there's forward movement here. We have the chariot. So we've, we have something here where there's a lot of heart opening that is occurring. And what you're seeing, they're saying, what you're seeing out in the world is this big cleansing. So things are occurring to draw our attention to what still needs uh, to be healed. Yeah, not to be fixed, but to be healed. Now, here's the thing. I've been saying, you know, anybody, yeah, we've got the Nine of Michael here too. Uh, it's very easy to take the mind and wrap it around a cause or wrap it about around something and say, I disagree with that. I don't, I, I don't stand for that, but then we don't do anything about it. Or when people do something about it, they're doing it out of pure hatred and entitlement. That becomes about something else. And that's why they're saying that's why things are not getting any better because we're not realizing it's all about energy. If we, I don't care who you are, if you come to anything or to anyone with hate, judgment, right? Yeah, people coming together in a pure way. You know, if you come together with hate and judgment, then nothing changes. You're going to have your, your pain, your resentment. We all have stuff that we're healing, you know, in that way. But that, that's a big message that is coming up here to really kind of self-check here and be like, okay, you know, if I go out and I'm cruel and hateful to everybody and then I'm stunned when they retaliate or how many people are out there antagonizing others to get them to react. And when they do, they, you know, jump back and and cry foul and say I'm a victim and you know, the whole bit. So got to watch that as well. Enchantment. Watch, watch the charmers. That's what that feels like. That's what we're waking up to. We have been in a deep, deep sleep and not the kind of sleep that we would have imagined. Okay. And peace. All right. When we wake up from these toxic patterns and um, you're going to hear me use the word toxic quite a bit because right? it's just what we're dealing with. But we come to a place of peace when we realize the stories we've been told are not true. And we can study or at least learn from the experts about personality and how personalities express. What are people responding to? How are they responding to it? Uh, I, yeah, and I'm getting the feeling here too that a lot of things are still occurring that have been right in our face. It's so obvious and yet we didn't do anything about it. Yeah, and for people who like to turn away and pretend like things aren't happening, that's not working, that's not helping. And I've said that for years, but I'm just, I'm just sitting here and feeling this out a little bit because it has this feeling of, again, what we've been saying for years is not overcorrecting, not overcorrecting on things. So. Let's just get into this part of it and see if it makes more sense. The chariot, Archangel Metatron, who's all about ascension. And that is really what it is. They're like, oh, you want us to make it make sense? It's ascension. We have to come into that um, higher frequency self, the higher self, okay? The fifth dimensional self. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. This card is not showing up for the reason that you think. Yes, there's forward motion, but look at the dated mindset. Career advancement, which is good. Hey, we all like to feel successful, right? Acknowledgement of success by others. Remember in the days when that would have been important? See, that's what we're supposed to be learning. How far we have come from needing the validation and realizing that everything that we do day in and day out, it doesn't have to be grandiose in anybody else's eyes. We can be at peace with it. We can enjoy our day-to-day -day activities. We don't have to be, you know, super popular. Okay, so that's something that's going to be shifting. That was something that needed to be healed. Again, the sense of constant validation, even through social media. So 
now we'll just enjoy being with our loved ones or if you're walking the solitary path right now that's cool you could do whatever you need to do right now but finding your way and we'll see here to people and communities who actually exchange love so this is not not the kind of thing where okay i find a community of people who all just agree with me and therefore i feel like i'm at home it's not about that it's not about any ego surface level thing it's I feel understood accepted there's no competition between us we're supportive of one another but we're not toxic supportive okay the the one of the most blaring <laughs> things that always got under my skin I admit it it got under my skin when someone would defend their friend because they think loyalty is defined by backing up and being your friend's enabler right? That's not loyalty. That is not loyalty. If I'm friends with you and you go off and do something heinous, we're not friends anymore. Okay. <laughs> like you are not the person I thought, you know, and you can say, well, that's judging them. Ah, if it was something that like was an accident. Okay. You know, we'll work through that. But this whole thing of don't say that I used to do that or experience this all the time, especially when I lived in New York. All I would say is, oh yeah, I met so-and-so. You be careful about what you say about her. She's my friend. Don't you say anything bad about her. And I bet even as I say that, a lot of people watching this video, you're not gonna see anything wrong with that. And that is what is so scary. That is what is so concerning. There's already this uh, darkness coming out. And what if I did have something to say? What if your friend did something that wasn't so great? I'm not allowed to talk about it? Because that's your friend and like we're a cult? like. <laughs> That's it, you know, like your friendship should be a free flowing, loving, peaceful experience. It shouldn't be, you know, let's let's form a group so that we could be against other people. Does that make sense? Okay, Knight of Michael. So we're all very stressed out right now. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire, release feelings of guilt, excuse me, regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So what's happening, I think here, is that we are feeling this cracking open. We're feeling this, you know, opening up for us to look at it to see the wisdom there, to see how we need to move forward. And this is keeping us up at night. We're not loving it. <laughs> but when we finally release the need to be validated and just focus on the work that you do, focus on you being the best human being that you can be and not um, presenting, right? So there's a lot of mock kindness. There's a lot of mock caring um, and the falsehoods. Yeah, there, we're going to start cracking open and seeing through all of the falsehoods and what this does is it brings us together in more harmony so this is reasons to celebrate it's three of Raphael. reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children but again this is about community and not again when people try to put together a community it's like here are the rules of this community you cannot ever disagree with us that is not community Again, that's a cult, okay? So don't don't go down that road. That's not what we're talking about here, all right? But choosing healthier people to be with, and I often hear, often, in the nearly decade I've been doing this professionally, people would say, I wanna get around uh, high-minded people, spiritual people. And I don't know how to articulate it, but I'm like, you don't know what you're asking for. How about instead of just assuming if someone is spiritual, that means they're good. How about instead of assuming that you just open your heart to whoever, right? Just because somebody isn't a part of a meditation group doesn't mean they're a bad person. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> talking about, we don't need validation. I'm like, you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Am I saying that? Okay. <laughs> We're all on the journey, journey together, right? Okay, so six of Gabriel will come through. We are, we're having these discoveries. We're having these moments. It'll be subtle and I don't think we're going to get there all at once, you know, but you know, little by little. So congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotion. So this could mean something in your physical world, but with all these cards here, this is definitely asking us to make real progress. And in order to make real progress, we have to face our dark side. We have to face <laughs> uh, things that we have allowed to go on for too long. Uh, 
And then of course, we as humans, we say, oh yeah, I don't like that, that's an injustice. So I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna be a jerk to everybody. I'm gonna find any opportunity I can to put somebody down and that'll make this a, a better world. No, now you're, no, <laughs> okay. <laughs> be loving and accepting and they're saying a good way around this is to try to, it's all about empathy. Try to understand where the other person might be coming from. And if you really can't wrap your mind around it, ask questions, ask questions. You know, how, how does that, how did that come up for you? You know, how did that viewpoint come about? And they might get defensive because we're all kind of in, it's all this pain. If you notice everything that starts to occur comes from a place of pain. All the negative stuff, okay. So we have violet, violet flame, transmute that. Stop being so negative, don't be so negative, right? But what I mean by that is people are going into the false positivity trying to look like good people when in fact they're putting hatred out there, they're putting judgment. Have you ever walked into a room, like whoever you are, and people are already immediately like sizing you up and down and like, you know, they already hate you and they don't even know you? I get that all the time. And I was like, but when you're friends with me, you get free readings. <laughs> Like, I don't, not that you should use somebody for free readings. I'm not saying that, but you know, I'm a good friend. I'm a very good friend. I'm a very supportive friend and people, they just want to shut all the goodness out, right? Anyway, so we have Violet, like I said, create a balanced life. The number is 45. So we're coming, it reduces to nine. So we're coming to a place of learning our lessons, this completion. So, you know, if we're going to have forward movement, look at this. We got to be in our, got to be, we have to be in our higher wisdom. All right. And so this is seeing things for what they actually are, not what we're being told that they are. Um, seeing through narratives, seeing through uh, people's behavior, people's behavior. I made a social media post. Uh, this was somewhere else. And I just said, hey, you know, for safety, just let's remember this, this and this, because we're kind of on a season where a lot of people, for example, go on the trails and they don't know all the trail etiquette. They don't know the rules. And it can be very dangerous out there, especially here in the Rockies. And so I posted something like, hey, friendly reminder. Duh. And these people, a lot of people were fed up and they were like, yeah, I agree. Like people are not being safe. And you know, how are we all supposed to enjoy our day if we're worried about falling off the side of a mountain, right? Uh, and I, I was uh, feeling pretty good that only two people out of the many, many, many comments that were put on this post, only two came out and tried to twist the narrative try to make me look like a bad person. And in comparison, that personality, function, disorder, whatever was going on for them, I have no idea, I don't know these people. Whatever was going on for them was so obvious. Like they were so obviously exposing themselves. And there was this quiet understanding for the rest of the people. Now that post, because of one of those toxic people, ended up complaining, I guess, or reported it. And so the whole post got taken down for no reason other than that person didn't feel like everybody was giving in to her, I guess. And you know what I'm talking about. Like you've probably all like experienced something like that where someone has to just complain and then nobody gets to have a voice because that one person says, I don't like this. And again, it was just because she, the, her argument was we get to do whatever I, you know, me doing my thing, I could do whatever I want and people need to get out of my way. And uh, nobody agreed with her and that bothered her. This is what I'm talking about. Noticing things like that, understanding red flags, right? It's not so that you can go in there and fight them or you know, do whatever, it's not that, but just having that awareness and knowing what we need to transmute. This is Archangel Zadkiel kind of energy, okay? Transmuting and not trying to barrel over something, but understanding the true nature of it so that we can work on it and keep it moving right? And just keep it moving. So even in our frequency, we will start to respond to it differently. That's getting into that fifth dimensional self. All right. So I hope that made sense. We're going to leave it there and we're going to break it down into the dailies. So I'm sending you all so much love and take care.